there guys, today we thought to jump on and answer one of the most frequently asked questions that we get which is what company do we use to insure our van whilst we are converting it? Now you've probably either just bought your vehicle or you're just about to and have done a little bit of research on what to insure your vehicle, your brand new vehicle with, and I've gotten quotes probably running into the thousands of pounds per yeah, year. Which easily is into like 2,000 pounds yeah. really, that's what we got anyway. Now the crux of the matter is that with our van being in the middle of, it, of its conversion from a van into a camper, we can't actually insure it as a camper van or a motorhome or whatever because it's not, but neither is it a commercial vehicle. Yeah, because you know, we're drilling holes in the side, we're putting things on the roof, we're bolting things on the inside, yeah. so and you, regular van insurance doesn't cover that, yeah. so. And because the van continuously changes through, you know, the, the life of its conversion, um, what do you tell the insurance company? Now the reason that van insurance is so expensive is because it's treated as a commercial vehicle and anything put under a business or commercial use will be horrifically expensive because that's just the way things are, just the way businesses run. Because if you're a company of course you have money. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> the other reason is that, you know, the way that regular commercial vans are driven. They're driven a lot of miles, they're maybe not driven with the utmost care. Yeah, and uh, theft rate is significantly higher. They're kind of a hot spot for theft and crime, so that's why the insurance rates are so high for regular vans. Also, with normal van insurance, you can't really get cover for, uh, you know, normal home stuff. So like home insurance, so for your laptops, your blender, your whatever, yeah, home related stuff, okay? So that is how we come to camper van in conversion insurance which thankfully it does exist sort of, but nobody really advertises it really well. In brief, what camper van in conversion insurance is, is it basically covers you or when you're cutting the holes out in your van or when you're installing a gas tank underneath. In essence, it's between van insurance and camper van insurance. It's kind of the middle ground. Yeah. When it comes to camper van in conversion insurance, the few most important things that you should look out for is uh, how often does the insurance company wants you to update them on the changes that you make. So for example, every time you cut a hole, like install the fan, install a window, do you have to pick up the phone and Tell, you know, them. tell them. Every single company does it slightly differently, yeah. so you do have to And check. when it comes to like services like installing gas or installing, installing a diesel heater, do you have to do more? So you have to ask those before you commit yeah. to booking with that company. Actually, another important point is if you're doing electricals, gas or heating, anything to do with that, do you need someone certified to install it in the van or can you do it yourself and get it checked and they'll still cover it? Because, you know, gas and electrics and insurance all go well together in a nice stew pot. If you can't find it in their terms and conditions, ask because you have to be covered if you know you install a gas tank and it explodes and they mm -hmm. realized you installed it yourself and they don't cover that they will not pay out and mm -hmm. you know there's no use of your insurance then another point to look out for like we mentioned earlier is if you do want to travel in your semi-converted van um, how long will they give you to travel outside the UK um, and do they have any restrictions on traveling within the UK and do you have a time limit in order to convert your van into a camper. Like some insurance companies will only give you 60 days or 90 days to convert your entire van from start to finish into your camper, which as we know as first time converters is very nearly impossible. Luckily our insurance company has given us uh, 12 months to convert our van and they don't even need us to update them on every single change that we make until <laughs> sort of the 12 months of coming to an end. Yeah, and, and then, then they kind of like have a look at our policy and they have a look at where we are, we tell them where we are, and then they can extend it for another six months, 12 months, as and when needed, which is very, very good. Oh, and also we do have six months in Europe if we do want them right now. So that's kind of cool, though we want to convert the van so we don't really have the time to go out for that long anyway. But the big question of course is who have we gone with and are we going to stay with the same insurance company if we need to extend the, uh, our, our conversion or after the conversion? And the answer is no, we will not be staying <laughs> with the same insurance company in either scenario uh, despite all the you know timescale benefits that we mentioned. The cheapest and best price that we found was through a company called Adrian Flux, which I am sure you have probably heard of in your research. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we haven't had to claim with them, uh, so we can't really give too much advice on that. However, there is something that you need to know about Adrian Flux, which is actually they're not really an insurance company, they're more like an agency 
page and like a comparison website they have a huge database of uh, insurance companies and they try and get the best price for you which is why a lot of people pretty much everybody like on all the groups have very very mixed reviews because you know some people say oh they hope we can't claim with them at all or uh, yeah they're the best ones ever they're brilliant okay which is um, because everybody is actually with a different insurance company and when it comes to claiming you're not actually claiming through Adrian Flux you're claiming through the company that they have set you up with so it's actually really important when they give you the quote to find out which company that is because you have research yeah because you have to check its credibility now we did not do that <laughs> because we're newbies and we didn't know what to do with this insurance like we just wanted some insurance for, for, for the camp fund that we could afford at the time yeah so yeah we didn't do that and we haven't had any problems with it but when we looked at the reviews for the company yeah. which is what market study limited it yep. comes up as under two stars and overall after our 12 months are up we don't feel overly comfortable staying in this limbo state where there's sort of kind of a third party medi med mediation sort of uh, situation here like we don't really have um, direct contact with the insurance company that we actually with and we have to go through agent flux now I don't really know whether there's any benefits of having a third party party agent in this scenario but I feel a little bit out of control so that's kind of a huge reason why we don't want to stay with with the same insurance company but also we do want a company that actually has good reviews and history of actually working some of the companies that we are looking into to uh, go in the future when we have to renew a policy include uh, Greenlight Insurance, Caravan Wise, it was Admiral, uh, A Plan and yeah, mustard uh, was another one. Yeah, and then um, AIB, AIB, uh, and uh, th 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 there's more, but I can't remember them all. So please leave your suggestions down in the comments below because we need to change a policy around July time. So honestly, there's plenty of time for you to tell us what to do. Yeah. So if this video was your uh, cup of tea, then uh, do subscribe for the full van conversion and other alternative living, you know, adventures and stuff like that. So yeah, subscribe. See you next, See you next time.